today we're putting together two of my all-time loves, plants and recycling things. I'm going to DIY some plant pots today and I'm going to show you how I do it. Hello everyone, my name is Ines. I run a blog called A Bowdery where I share our family's journey to a sustainable handmade home. I love to make things for my house and I love to live sustainably so if you'd like to come along for that journey with me then definitely hit the subscribe button or check out my blog which is linked down below. A lot of the materials you should already have in your house so we're going to use things that are probably sitting around in your kitchen although there will be a couple of things that you need to buy. We're going to do three different kinds. First up we have a way to recycle old plant pots. A lot of the time people pick up pots in thrift stores and they're maybe just a bit boring or maybe a bit old. I've got one here today which is a bit chipped and paint covered but we're going to give it a little bit of a pick me up with some water slide decals. These are a little bit hard to use at first but if you give it a little bit of practice you get the hang of it really quickly and you can put them on pretty much anything so plant pots or mugs or plates or anything like that so they're really fun to do and they're a really easy way to upcycle old bits and pieces so you'll need some water slide decal paper for either an inkjet or laser printer you also need some clear acrylic spray a handkerchief or paper towel and a bowl of water so you're going to take your water slide decal paper and print your design onto it using your printer at home. And then you want to take your acrylic spray and give the paper a good coating and then leave it for at least 30 minutes to dry, ideally longer. And then you want to give it another two coats and it's really important not to skimp on this step because it's what's going to give your design integrity when you get it wet later. Next you want to cut your designs out and you want to get pretty close to the design but also leave a little border. Um, that border is really important as you'll see later on. So now we're going to do our water slide. So grab your bowl of water and your decals and obviously your plant pot. You want to start by dropping your decal into the water and leaving it for about 30 to 60 seconds. And while you're waiting for that, you can just dip your finger into the water and then wet the area that you're going to be applying the decal to. And this is just going to allow the decal to slide around on the surface, which is why it's called water slide. So place your decal onto the plant pot and then gently hold it down on the left hand side with your finger whilst you slide the backing paper away with your right hand. Try to go as slow as possible here. You're really not in a hurry and it's actually quite satisfying, so enjoy the process. Once it's in place, you'll find that it still slides around a little bit, so you can reposition it if you need to. And then you want to grab your handkerchief and just gently wipe from the centre outwards to remove any air bubbles and to dry your decal. And that's it. Next up, I'm going to show you how to turn a Tetra Pak into a plant pot. Now Tetra Paks are obviously recyclable, but if we can use them around the house then that saves things from having to be processed. Tetra Paks are perfect because they already have a plastic lining, so they make a really good waterproof plant pot and you can actually make them look quite pretty. So let's have a look at how I did it. The supplies for this one are really simple. You're just going to need a Tetra Pak, so I've got an oat milk carton here. And you can also get the little mini ones as well, so they make really nice mini plant pots. You want to start by cutting into your carton, probably about two thirds of the way up, but if you want to make it taller or shorter, you can do that, of course. Recycle your top part and then take your bottom part and start scrunching it up and giving it a really good crinkle. And you're looking for the outer paper with the design on to start pulling away from the inner cardboard. So once you start to see that happen, just um, give it a gentle pull and it will start to peel away from the cardboard to reveal this lovely craft paper vibe that we're going for. This is another really satisfying process, so enjoy it while you're doing it. 
just keep going until you've pulled all of the paper away. You don't really have to pay much attention to the bottom because of course you're not going to see it, so don't worry too much about that. At this stage you might want to add drainage holes. You can add those with a small screwdriver. In the end I didn't actually need them for this one, but you might want them. Then you can neaten up the top edge by folding it down. So you can either fold it out, or like I'm doing here, you can fold it in. And I actually ended up folding it twice just to give a really nice neat finish. And that's it. All that you need to do now is add your plant. As well as those bigger plants, you can also make mini versions out of those tiny oat milk cartons. So here I'm planting up a little pilea pup that has grown off one of my plants. And these make really good little nursery pots for new baby plants. loads of these peanut butter pots hanging around. We love to buy peanut butter, we love to eat peanut butter, but we end up with these pots which actually are the perfect size and shape to become a plant pot, but they're not always the prettiest. So today I'm going to cover one in air drying clay and it's super easy to do and it's a really nice way to upcycle something that you probably already have in your house. So you're obviously going to need some form of recycled container. I'm using peanut butter pots like I said because we get through so many of them. And you're also going to need a pack of air drying clay and some clay tools, including a rolling pin. So you want to start by cutting off a chunk of your clay. I started with this tiny chunk and then realised I would need about twice as much. So make sure that you cut off enough to begin with. And then we want to press it out and take our rolling pin and start rolling it out into a flat rectangle. You just want to keep rolling it until it's about half a centimetre thick. As you go, keep checking the height of the rectangle against your pot to make sure that it's going to be tall enough to cover your pot. Keep going until your clay is about half a centimetre thick. I think that's about a quarter of an inch, so for all you Americans. And then once you think it's big enough, just do a little test run. So I'm just checking here that it's going to fit all the way around. Then you want to add some glue to your clay. Just give it a good covering. And then wrap your clay layer around your pot. If I did it again, I would probably cut the edges so that I don't have this overlapping area. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. But in the end, I just smoothed it out with a little bit of water. If you just wet your finger, then air drying clay smooths out really easily. So that worked okay in the end. Then you just want to make sure you cut off any excess at the bottom so that your pot sits nice and flat. And then gently fold in the edges of the clay around the bottom of the pot so that everything sits nice and flat. I also ended up with this little random area that didn't have clay on. So if you have any of those, you can just patch them over with a little bit of clay. And again, just glue it down with a little bit of glue. You also want to fold in your clay down 
over the top of the pot so that you have a nice neat edge at the top. If you end up with any cracks forming you can just wet your finger again and gently rub it over the top and that just helps to smooth out any cracks and imperfections in the clay. I also went back over that area at the back and then once it was all wrapped up I also went over the whole thing with some water just to give it a really smooth terracotta-esque finish. You can of course leave your pot like this or as I'm doing here you can add any sort of design. I just went for something simple because I like simple but you could get as elaborate as you wanted to.